Hey guys, welcome to another video by K21 Academy and today our expert trainer will be discussing about domain 3 that is design and implementation of data security. So let's get into the video. So design and implement security in the security domain, please be aware of TDE which is C, which is the security addressed and for TDE you also have customer double level encryption available right which means you can bring your own key and encrypt the Microsoft key with your key okay the TDE certificate is the first certificate that will be restored by Microsoft because if you do not restore the TDE certificate you are treated as a hacker if you if you see SQL Server when we do TDE on it, we take a backup of the TDE certificate multiple times. Because in an in an event when your system is down, your data is encrypted at rest. To restore it on another server, you first restore the TDE certificate. Otherwise, you are trying to restore data, but you do not have TDE certificate. What does that mean? You have exfiltrated the data and you are trying to restore it on an insecure server without a TDA certificate. That is meaning you are a hacker. You are hacking the data and you are, you are restoring it on an insecure server. Data exfiltration, this is data exfiltration, right? So take the data from your target. Let's say you are my target. Don't take it offensive. You are my target. I take your data. I steal your data. You encrypt the data at rest. Why did you encrypt your data at rest? So that nobody could take it and restore it on an insecure server without first restoring the TDE certificate. So I have to first steal your TDE certificate somehow. And for that, I have to consult with some internal people to you, insider, who will help me basically get it. I'm going to say, see, if you give me this information of the company, I'm going to give you $1 million right so you will say okay fine let us do something so first will be exfiltrated the tde certificate that will come to me after that i will do months of months of hacking and then we'll get eventually your data and then i will restore it on an insecure server and then it's gonna i'm gonna sell it on the dark web and i'm gonna earn maybe some 50 million or 100 million and 1 million i'm gonna give to the insider person who helped me basically get the tde and that person would eventually be who administrator of the SQL server. That's why TDE and the dynamic data masking cannot secure your data from administrator of the server. What do you need to secure your data from the administrator is always encrypted column level encryption. This is the part of DP 300 DP 300. I just told you here, right? Yes, so when restorations occur, Microsoft first restores the TDE certificate. Otherwise, if Microsoft does not restore the TDE certificate, anyone who does not have a TDE certificate and he tries to go and tries to restore your data, that person may be the CEO of the company, but the, but the Microsoft will say you are a hacker, right? You do not have a TDE certificate. Why are you restoring it, right? Data auditing, is again extremely important okay data auditing is very important the recommended best practices that always enable the auditing at the server level right these kind of questions will not come in your exam but uh, general awareness is required so auditing auditing is very important so when you audit your systems your sql systems always remember that auditing must be enabled at the server level ddm is very important obscure your data from the consumers of the data and only expose that much which is only sufficient for their work the support executive on the bank side only needs to know the last four digits of your credit card he does not need to know the entire um, credit card information full your credit full credit card number is not needed by him to do his work so even if he calls you and says sir can you please tell me your credit card number don't tell him full only tell him the last four digits right and when the data will be presented will present on the last four digits email mask 
default mask random number mask custom text so go through them i'm not gonna basically teach you here this thing again right we had given you the exercise to experiment with these but here you can see default credit card email random number and custom text all of them are available if you want to create widespread security policies consult your security engineers and talk with them about configuring proactive security policies and security can be handled in two ways proactively and reactively right you're gonna keep a dog on your house because you want to be proactively secure okay but you also gonna keep a gun under your bed so that if someone comes in even after doing some harm to your dog you can take a reactive approach and kill him over there right because the law allows if somebody breaches your private property you can shot that individual right so i'm not saying that you shot it right but it's a general thing right we can shorten them the lag or something like that so that that does not happen burglar there are so many videos where people in California and all of that somebody enters their home and they basically put a shot over there right so yeah reactive approach right so if you want to take a proactive approach go to security engineers and tell them I want you to create some proactive policies and do them in the security center right so you can do that through the security center in the security policy yeah row level and column level security is also should be your concern we have discussed it thoroughly so not gonna be again putting it into perspective for you you uh, go and look at column level security that we did and we also did security predicate security policy and all of that stuff so gonna look at go and look at your lab over there a quick question you need to recommend a security solution for containers in azure blob storage okay so you're talking about blob storage the solution must ensure that only read permissions are granted so a specific container okay so they are saying that you give read permissions to a specific user for a specific container level this you can do using rbec role-based access control because blob supports azure ad and rbec is available to the level of container so this will suffice the purpose you are asking us on the container level what if they told you on a folder level on a file level is it possible then no then the solution must be adls gen 2 right because adls gen 2 will allow you to do that so solution must ensure that only read permissions i gonna go with r back over here sas will also give but Yes, we can create a SAS on a container. Yes, SAS can be created on a container, right? Through the CLI, there is no direct option on the portal to create a SAS on a container level. But yes, there is a command for it that we can create a SAS on a container level. It is a option. It's a valid option. Uh, if I just show you, if you don't believe me, let me just show you, right? GitHub 300 go to 300 go to instructions go to labs go to the lab number seven and just navigate down a little bit you will see uh, generate the SAS on the container level is it storage container generate SAS generate the SAS on the container level both the options are valid options a and v are valid options public read access for blobs only this will also suffice your purpose access key will also suffice your purpose but a specific user for a specific container so access key will not do that c will also not do that because when you give public read access for blobs all blobs it will apply all containers it will apply so c and d goes out what remains is a and b Generate SAS, both of them are available. A, B are the correct answers. Now aptitude kicks in. Which one is the most secure out of AD and SAS? AD is most secure. AD is more secure because I can then implement MFA and all of those things. So you see this thought process, right? You're gonna have to think, you're gonna have to bring some aptitude in. 
you're going to have to bring some aptitude in and when you bring some aptitude in your answers will be always right okay 900 plus will not be a dream it will become easy right and you will consistently score 850 plus right this is saying sas both of them are valid options till the container level rbac is also available let us show that uh, i closed that oops oopsie i have opened right portal right so if i just show you the storage account after this i will quickly take you through so this is a storage account right and this is a normal storage account hierarchical namespace is disabled so if you go to the container and you click on any container then you will see that access control is available till the level of container but if you go inside a container and you create some virtual folder on it right let us upload something about me let me upload this file and i create a virtual folder within it so i create a some virtual folder within it okay i say virtual folder within it and upload that guy in so if you look this is the virtual folder so if i go inside a virtual folder i cannot give iam on this folder level yes right so the answer to you, this question should be from your side i would answer a but you should answer it's now it's up to you right what would you answer so i think that uh, how would you make it a specific user with sas how would you make it a specific user for a sas answer me that sas is not for a specific user sas basically you can share the sas with anyone else no how will i make sure it is you only so i gonna answer a and i think that the answer for correct this question is a indeed right but shared access signature is also a valid option right so this question is slightly trickier in nature both of them are right answers but if this question comes in your exam no you mark a for this r back role in azure ad storage blob data reader you give the storage blob data reader permissions over here you go here and you add add a role the storage blob data reader storage blob data reader i would tell you i would recommend you this thing it gonna it gonna give only to that specific user on that container sas is not a valid way 101 percent as whatever experience i have on azure even though you can generate a sas at container level but there is no specific information that ties it to a single user only okay it's not possible to tie it to a single user okay so so here you can see the scrutiny that we did right so this word highlights to my brain that no it's not possible for a sas right so i think here is some mistake from our team we should mark it a r back role in azure ad implement data security are back right go through the role based access control hierarchy appropriately please be aware of the roles and leverage them appropriately now experiment with your services i cannot teach you are back in five minutes right so what you're going to have to do is as simple as it goes go to every service that you learned and look for its iam blade and check for it the different roles that apply to that service these all roles apply to it browse through these roles look at the detail of a role what actions what data actions it can perform json of that role assignment okay so yeah so you're gonna have to uh, look a little bit okay quickly moving forward another sample question you're designing a data engineering solution that will use Azure Data Bricks. Which two capabilities are only available on the premium service tier? First is RBAC role. RBAC is only available on that thing. So E is the part of the answer. Automatic start and termination. This is in this is in both. It's a feature of clustering. So this is there. Production streaming with monitoring, alerting and monitoring with retries, optimized auto scaling of compute. 
so this is some static knowledge question so i'm gonna mark for this b and e let us see that so e only select the correct answer so e others are not there right so need to check whether they are a part of it or not but certainly this is the part right in the premium we know premium is secure with azure ad plus r back standard is azure ad plus only it's going to give you azure ad for sign on but if you want sign on plus r back go with premium so guys if you liked our video then do give us a thumbs up but if you really want to learn more about the particular topic we discussed, then we have something really special for you. We have our free class on Microsoft Azure Data Engine certification, that is DP203, along with some question and answers, where we'll be discussing about why is everyone working on data, importance of some Azure services you should learn, and many more things. So for that, all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash Azure DE02. And after that, you'll be seeing a screen like this. Just click on book your free seat now. Select your event date whenever you're available. Reserve your spot by adding your name, your email address, and your phone number. And you'll be getting all the updates via mail. You'll be seeing this kind of window on extreme right. So you can save this link. Add to your calendars and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, keep hustling and take care.